Hi, this is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about sales reps and commissions and how to get QuickBooks set up so that you can quickly and easily report on your sales by sales rep and calculate your commissions so that you can go back and enter your bills to pay the commissions to your salespeople. Now as you may well know, especially if you've gotten to this point where you're watching this video, QuickBooks has a limitation there. It will not do the calculation for you. It'll go as far as showing you, giving you what you need to be able to report on sales by sales rep so that you can then look at the sales total and multiply by the sales rep's commission rate so that you can go enter the bill once you've figured out how much you owe them. Of course, this isn't always practical, especially if I've got several sales reps and especially if they're at different commission rates. So what I've done is, of course, I've created a template in Excel that lets you finish the process very quickly. And the first thing you'll need to do, in the previous tip on this, you saw it was very short and simple, uh, just how to set up the sales rep. So if you haven't already watched that video, you'll learn how to set up the sales rep. So once I've done that, I can create this sales rep list report, which is just a list report going into reports and lists, which I've customized to include a custom field, which I've created here, as well as, of course, uh, you know, the name, email, and phone. It's just information that might be handy to have even when you're working in the Excel template. So once we've got this in place, this is the first thing we're going to need because the template has to be able to look up the sales commissions in order to do the calculation. And I think it's better to keep track of it in QuickBooks so that, again, as you're about to see, you can export this and update the list yourself. So what we want to do, and instead of using the keyboard shortcuts, I'll do it directly. You click the export button, click export again, and QuickBooks will talk to Excel, and it'll do its thing. So now we've got the sales rep list in Excel. And all we have to do is take this section, press Control C, we've just highlighted the sales reps, and then I want to come over to the template, and over here you're looking at the title page, so just click Get Started, and come over here to the top right and click Sales Reps. Of course you can use the tabs at the bottom too, I've just made it easy so that if you're not that familiar with Excel, you can still navigate this thing. Notice the commission rates come in with an error warning here because it's formatted as text. When you create a custom field in QuickBooks, it's going to be formatted as text. So if you click down on this message, you'll see it says number stored as text and Excel is great, it makes it easy, you just click convert to number. Make sure that you've done so successfully by hitting the percent formatting and increasing the decimal by two, just to be sure that the information is coming in, you know, in, in the correct format. Once you know that you've got a numeric value here, then you know your lookup's going to work. So now we can go back to the sales commission report, and let's go back to QuickBooks here, and that's right here. And again, I've created a custom field here. This commission wire in, the purpose of this is to enable you to say there might be line items on an invoice that I don't want to pay commissions on. Maybe you don't want to you know, credit the, the sales rep for, for the shipping because that's really incidental to the sale. It's not really what the sales rep earned per se. It's, it's a cost you have to incur in order to get the product to your customer, and you're just billing that back to the customer. So in case you have things like that that you don't want to pay commission on, I've set up the infrastructure for you here that enables you to specify a specific line item within an invoice that should not be paid commissions on. And this is a custom field that you set up in association with your items. It's not a custom field for the customers. It, goes, it gets set up with your items. And if you download my full-length tutorial on this, it walks you through how to set all of this up step by step. I don't have time to cover it all in a short free tutorial. So once again, we're going to click our export button, and we're going to export this. And the trick, of course, is to make sure that the columns line up. Now, I've customized this report, of course, intentionally to make sure that it did. In your case, if you're not buying the full-length tutorial that teaches you how to do it, the assumption is then you'll know how to go do this on your own. There's still a little additional customization required because when QuickBooks formats these reports, it doesn't put the sales rep on every line, and we do need that. So you will have to just go down, and you can do a quick copy. Control, Shift, Down Arrow will copy down the range and hit Enter to copy down the names. Then you can get rid of these extra lines that you don't need because all you need for the template's purpose is just the information itself. And we have to get rid of this extra column that comes in here too. There's nothing you can do about that. It just creates it. And we don't need the balance that's out here. So let's get rid of that. Now once I know I've got my columns in place and lined up properly, I press a Control C and I come over to my template and you want to paste values. Always paste values on these because if you paste, if you just paste it, it'll take the formatting from its source and you'll overwrite the formatting here. 
when we paste values, I want you to pay attention over here to the commission rate and commission columns all the way to the right, because as I paste the values in, as you can see, everything gets looks up, looked up in an instant, and all the calculations are done. Notice the two line items that have ends under commission wire N do not get calculated. We have one more step in this process, which is I'm going to make a copy of this tab by right-clicking, choosing Move or Copy, Create a Copy, and I can just put it right after it or right before the next one. Click OK, and it makes a copy. And the reason I want to do that is I want to preserve the source once I've created it. But now I can highlight the range of data that I've got in here. Come over to my Data tab, and I want to subtotal it. And I want to subtotal it by sales rep. So at each change in sales rep, I want to use the sum, and I want to sum on the amount, so I know how much there being, how much uh, sales have been associated with that sales rep, and I want to sum the commissions. When I click OK, Excel does the subtotaling for me, but we still need some a little more formatting in order to make sure that it's easy enough to read. So I can zip up by clicking on the number two here, highlight the range. And now I've got a special button up here called Select Visible Cells, which I've created. And you can add that by just right-clicking here on the Quick Access Toolbar. Yours may be on top. I've changed the setting so that mine appears below the ribbon. So just click on that Quick Access Toolbar, and you'll find it in the options. It's called Select Visible Cells. So if you choose to show all options, it's under the S's for Select Visible Cells. So we select the visible cells only, and now I go to my formatting options, which is Control, and the number 1 is a fast way to get there. I want to go to my Fill tab here, to my Fill Effects, and I'll just stick with the same formatting I've used for the header. Come back over here. We want the font to be white so that it can be read against the black. Click OK. It updates the formatting. The other thing is sometimes it, part of it comes in bold, part of it doesn't, so I just click and unclick the bold real quick. Now I can click on my three over here, and it unzips everything. And as you can see, I've got nice, neat subtotals that really stand out, so it's very clear to see what's going on. And now what I can do is make additional copies of this for each sales rep, so I can send it out to that sales rep. And then Joe P. Daly is going to get a summary report that shows you, your sales total is 20025 Based on that, you're getting paid 5000 in commissions, and he can see very clearly here that he's not getting credit for the shipping portion of the sale. He's only getting credit for the actual products that were sold. Again, that's an option. You may say, you know what, I'm going to pay them commission on the shipping too. That's up to you. But at least you have the infrastructure, and there may be other things that for whatever reason you don't want to you know, pay commission on, but you still want them to be on the same invoice because you're not going to send your customer two separate invoices, one for stuff that's commissionable and one not. The customer is going to want to know what's going on. So that's pretty much what I can give you in a brief uh, free screencast. What you can do if you're interested in taking this further is come over to my Knowledge Center and you'll find, and I'll post the link wherever this video is posted, of course, where you can download the full-fledged one-hour video tutorial that walks you through step-by-step -step how to create all of this in QuickBooks. Of course, the template's included. It'll teach you how to run the reports you need in QuickBooks customize them so you can calculate your commissions in minutes and it'll eliminate questions when you do this which saves you time and money because people aren't calling in and asking you how'd you come up with the commissions that you calculated you've sent them a report already that tells them exactly how and obviously if you stick around in the video for the last bonus segment that teaches you how to write the formulas in Excel then that information is going to not only teach you how to create a template like this but it's powerful information you can use and apply in other contexts so that you can start learning how to create some of the stuff you need in Excel that's going to make your life easier and certainly it's going to help you run your business more efficiently because I'm sure you can see just from what you've just seen here how quickly and easily you can take a process that manually might take an hour or two to do and it cuts it literally down into minutes so email me with any questions seth at nerdenterprises.com one other thing I also have just the template you can download the template if you're not interested in the whole video course you can download just the template but I only recommend doing this if you really know QuickBooks well and you know how to set up and customize those reports on your own. This is the wrong template I'm showing you here. Here's the sales commission template. So uh, you, that's available. You can just download the template. But uh, again, I want to stress, I would only do this if you really know QuickBooks very well and you know how to customize those reports and set up all those custom fields. The full-length tutorial walks you through every little piece of this, how to set it up, and it's got logical breaks so you can conveniently pause the video, go work on some of what you've learned, and then go back to it. So again, Seth at NerdEnterprises.com. If you have any questions, email me or call 866-945-8070, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.